Holding Space for Client Feelings and Needs by Michael Yudkovich. My, my position has shifted on this. Early in my career when I was CBT, it would have been like very much like we, oh, we need to figure, you, you need to figure that out. You know, we need to figure out what you need. And there is a pressure or, and, or maybe that I'm not doing the therapy correctly. You know, I'm not doing the counseling correctly because this client, I don't know how to help them. Um, that was early in my career. Later in my career, like I'll give you a really tangible example. When early in my career, when clients cried, I thought I did something wrong. I was like, oh no, they're crying and they, they're supposed to feel better when they meet with me, not worse. And uh, so I've learned over time that, you know, crying means we're exactly where we need to be. We're, that we're talking about exactly what we need to be talking about. And so when clients come into the room and they don't know how they're feeling or what they're needing or how I can support them, I just hold the space. I, um, there's this sort of idea within psychology called like absent but implicit. And so the absent but implicit is this person's here. This person's in my office or they're in the yoga studio or they're in your uh, therapy room, wherever they are, they're here. So they've identified that they need to be here. They're already, they already identified one need. I need to be here. They've already identified two needs. I don't feel the way I want to feel. I don't know what that feeling is yet. So you know, so for sure, it's like, okay, you, you want to feel differently. You're not sure how you feel, but you want to feel differently. That's information. You know you need to be here right now. That's information. That's, how did you know that you needed to be here today? How do you know you need to be here today? Oh, well, because, yeah, I, I know that I, I, I just know I don't want to feel this way. And I know something needs to change. Okay, something needs to change. So it, this is a longer conversation, right? It, but, but you can see how you can use that absent. But the absent is they're not saying it. They're not saying, I know I need, oh, I guess I'm asking, I'm, I'm identifying that, that they're here today. They might just show up in the office and that implies, even if they don't say they need to be here, it implies that they feel they needed to be here or they wouldn't be here. And, and I, I try to just hold space. So to be honest, I guess just as a final note on this, to me, that's where the work is. If, if a client doesn't know how they're feeling, that's the work to connect with feeling. If a client doesn't know what they need, that's the work to identify their need. That might not be in one session. That might be over multiple meetings. Maybe we're just building trust and safety, safer space. Maybe that's all the work is initially so they can feel safe to connect with feeling and express feeling. They can feel safe to explore their needs. They can feel trust that I will support them in that process. And then ultimately my kind of, I guess this is a sub question. Last question I would ask clients is how are you going to support yourself between now and our next session? How are you going to support yourself with what you're needing? And it might be, I need to connect. I need to kind of, kind of take some time to kind of uh, figure out how I am feeling. I'm going to do some reflecting on that. Maybe some journaling. Maybe I'll go for a run. Maybe I'll do some yoga, do some things, whatever it is, right? But that's for them to decide how they're going to support themselves after the session. I can only support them in the session.